Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Autofill is a handy feature that allows Excel to automatically fill in a repeating pattern that you establish. For example, you could fill in the months of the year, the days of the week, or any other repeating numeric pattern that you can set. Simply select the cell or cells that establish the pattern first. Next, look for the fill handle in the lower right corner of the selected cell or cell range. It's a small black square in the lower right corner of any selected cell or cell range. Move the chunky white cross cursor, which is called your cell selector, towards this box and try and fit the upper left corner of the cross into the lower right corner of the selected cell range where the fill handle is. When the cursor is in place, it will turn into a thin black crosshair. That's the fill handle cursor. Now, just click and drag with your mouse, either horizontally or vertically, to fill in the selected range. As long as the selected cell contains the beginning of a pattern that Excel recognizes, it'll fill in the range with the rest of that pattern. The names of the rest of the pattern will appear as you drag over each cell in the range in a small yellow tag called a screen tip. Just release your mouse when you're done, and it will automatically fill in the selected series. Now, if Excel doesn't recognize the entry that you try and autofill as being part of a standard series, it will instead copy the first cell's content over into the rest of the cells that you select. Actually, this is very handy if you simply want to copy the same cell entry over a range. Excel will also recognize patterns that you establish. For instance, if you typed a 2 into a cell, and then 4 into the next cell, and then selected both as a cell range, you could then move to the lower right corner of that cell range and drag it out with the autofill handle to set the series, which in this case would be increasing by 2. In the XP and 2003 versions, if you right click and drag with the autofill handle, you can select how you'll want to fill in the pattern by using the series command. So if we left click the series command, you can select the type of growth. Linear, growth, dates if you're using dates, autofill. In this case I'm going to say linear growth that increases by a step value of 1 and then click OK to get a sequential 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 autofill. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.